Hello everybody and welcome to the latest painting guide. I am going to be painting up a Napoleonic Italian artilleryman today. Um, this model is made up from the plastic uh, Vitrix set, um, wearing the French uniform, but painted in Italian colours. I've given things a prime with Army Painter Angel Green. Um, that's going to be the, the base colour for um, the jacket and uh, trousers. And first step I'm going to do is to give everything a dry brush with some Vallejo model colour Deep Green. Nice big brush for this. And concentrating on the arms and legs. And this is going to catch the upper surfaces um, and add a bit of highlighting. Next step is going to be to pick out the skin. I am using a Vallejo Game Extra Opaque Heavy Skin Tone, which is quite a mouthful. But the extra pigment in the heavy opaque range just means it will cover this um, dark green base coat a bit quicker. Next up is Vallejo Panzer Aces Dark Rubber, um, which is a nice dark grey. Um, and I'm, this is going to be painted on areas that are going to be um, black on the model. Um, dark grey so that it can be shaded with a, a dark wash later. Um, so the sponge um, is getting painted this way. Um, uniform details. So facings on the lapels, just a little bit either side of the cross straps and above. Uh, collar. I'll do the shackle cover and uh, the peak in this dark rubber as well. And there's other details like the um, Saber scabbard and cartridge box, and of course, uh, boots and gaiters where they're visible on the feet. I've got some Vallejo Game Extra Pick Heavy Sienna. Uh, I'm going to pick out the woodwork on the sponge here. That could be painted. Um, to match the artillery carriage. Um, he's got a few bits and pieces hanging off him. Um, there's a gourd here. That's on some kind of lanyard, so I'll pick that out as well. I use this color for hair. And down here there's a little leather bag. So I'll pick out all these details with the heavy sienna. With a small dry brush, I've got some Vallejo Game Elfic Flesh. And I'm going to dry brush the um, black, brown and uh, skin colours that I've applied. Adding a very quick highlight to these areas. I'm not too concerned if it gets on the, the uniform. I'll just make it look a bit dusty and dirty, which is entirely appropriate for artillery crew. On Italian artillery, um, the cuffs um, are red, as is uh, piping around the collar and piping on the lapels. Um, I'm using an Army Painter Pure Red. And on the back of the model, I want to pick out the turnbacks. No, not on the bonnet. 
and can't really see it very well on this model but there is a sword knot just there to pick out and the last bit of piping is on the shoulder boards time now to pick out the straps I'm using Vallejo model uh, off-white it's probably going to need a couple of coats So cross straps on the front, on the back, and the hanger for uh, the sword and bayonet. You can see where the, the cross straps continue over the shoulders on the back. And a little pair of lines just where the cap is held on. On my brush, I've got some Army Painter Plate Mail Metal. And I am going to carefully pick out buttons. This is Vallejo Brass and pick out the chin straps. Also use it to pick out the crossed cannon design on the cartridge box. And on the scabbard, the tip and the hilt of the sword. You might notice I use the plate mail metal to fill in the um, top of the bayonet that's poking out of the sheath there. I'm going to apply washes to the model now. Um, I'm taking the opportunity to do the skin separately from the rest of the model. I'm using Army Painter Flesh Wash. Um, you could of course just do the whole model with uh, one wash uh, but I just think having a little bit of ready pinkness added to the skin will help it look a bit more natural. The rest of the model is going to get an all over wash with Army Painter Dark Tone mixed one to one with Quick Shade Mixing Medium. Now my washes have dried. Um, there's a little bit of tidying up um, to do. Um, and I think it is maybe worth one or two highlights, um, first of which will be to put some off-white back on the edges of the straps. A bit of the pure red out to highlight on the cuffs. on the coattails. I'm highlighting the skin with a bit of cobalt skin from the Ari Painter. And that'll probably be the last highlight I do. Here's a look at my finished and based uh, Napoleonic Italian artillery battery. Got a six pound gun and a howitzer. Fitrix kit is nice and flexible. Um, lots of poses to be made, so I've gone for a firing um, and a moving of the gun. And I should say these are the pre-1812 uniforms um, with six pound uh, gun set from Victrix. The guns of the Italian um, artillery were uh, grey. And I've kind of gone for a highly uh, highlighted look as a bit of an experiment. So I've really worked with some Vallejo light grey to pick out the wood grain. Um, on these models. 
It's a new style. I hope it's worked well enough for everybody to see that. It's always good to experiment, I think, with uh, models every now and again to refresh the style. So thanks for watching. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. And I'll be back again soon with another painting guide. Thanks for now. Bye-bye.